Hey guys, I'm Katie Nolan bringing you your top headlines for Tuesday, February 7th. We'll talk about how to get you a girlfriend, big butts, and this. All that and more on your guys in Speed Round. I've been avoiding talking about the Super Bowl with you guys, but we need to talk about that halftime show. Dude, Madonna. I thought she was gonna break a hip there for a second. But the thing everyone else is talking about is that MIA accidentally flashed the middle finger live on the air. Personally, I found that much less offensive than the world peace plug at the end of the million dollar production. Could just be me. So Boston girl Maria Menounos made a bet with her extra co-host, AC Slater, that if the Patriots lost, she would wear a Giants bikini in Times Square. First of all, that's not a Giants bikini, it's an American bikini. And those also happen to be the Patriots colors. But most importantly, you just proved you had no faith in the Pats from the get-go. Because clearly you spent the last two weeks doing crunches. Online dating is now officially the second most common way of starting a relationship. And the first is still roofies. I know I already tweeted that I wished I just watched the Puppy Bowl on Sunday as opposed to the Super Bowl, but did anyone see the Lingerie Bowl? It actually has a lot in common with a youth football game. No one knows what they're doing, and in the end, everyone wins. An Australian Aborigine brought his daughter into the desert and she ended up dying from dehydration. Now he's facing tribal punishment to atone for her death. Not like it matters though, cause I have this picture of you here and therefore I already have your soul. Google that shit, they seriously, they believe that. Remember Uggy the dog, the one that was in The Artist that everyone was saying should be nominated for an Oscar? Sadly, his film career is coming to an end because he has a pesky shaking syndrome but now you can look for him on TV in Spin City, the dog years. Too soon? Uh, I don't know. A man racked up an $11,000 bill after letting his grandchildren stream movies on Netflix while they were on vacation. Serves you right. They're kids on vacation. Go eat Dippin' Dots on the boardwalk or buy a brightly colored neon t-shirt that states the city that you're in or something. Rachel McAdams showed up to the premiere of that movie your girlfriend's gonna make you see on Valentine's Day and she looked crazy face. What? According to scientists at Oxford University, having a huge ass is actually a sign of having good cholesterol levels and reduces the risk of hardening your arteries. So she's not going away anytime soon, huh? A teacher in Florida is being accused of racism after referring to a Haitian student as Little Chocolate Boy. His father, Mr. Goodbar, said this is not outrageous. So punny. This thing is an Iowana Spangenberg and she models in Romania. She's got 32 inch hips and a 20 inch waist. My question to you guys is, do you actually find that attractive? Because if you do, A, I'm screwed, but B, I think I might have some things in my closet you might want to have sex with. That's going to do it for Tuesday, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and push the like button and like me and Guyism on Facebook. And if you are feeling extra saucy, leave a little comment. And I will see you tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know, if you're lucky.